Fish just came up right there. I've never seen one like that. Oh, he's big. I got him. It's an iridescent shark. No way. No way. Oh, that's so crazy looking. I never thought I'd be catching these fish. It's an arowana. There's so many fish in here. I'm in shock right now. How is this even real? What's up, Beefy Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're gonna be saving abandoned aquarium fish from this crazy spot we just found. Now, this spot supposedly has tons of aquarium fish that people release whenever they need to get rid of them. I know this because I got a message from a subscriber saying that this is like a hot spot for people to release their fish in the wild. Now, you guys know in Florida, this happens a lot. That's how we always catch these crazy fish. Whenever people just have to get rid of their fish, whether it's too big, they just can't take care of it anymore, they usually let it go into the ponds and canals here in Florida, and then these fish just go crazy and they take over and it's not good okay i'm not condoning it but it does happen a lot and right here behind me this is the hot spot apparently for people to do that now it is illegal to release your fish so i'm not i'm not saying do it please don't do it but it does make for some pretty crazy videos because right now we're here at the spot and we're going to be seeing what we can catch out of it now he said it's a waterfall a man-made waterfall that connects to a pond here in the neighborhood and it has like 10 different pools of water like little kiddie pools little tide pool types of things where people can release their fish and it's literally the perfect habitat for it. That's why so many people come here and do it. Apparently, it's like a known thing to come here and release your fish. I didn't know about it until now, but I'm really excited to get in here, net around, play some fish traps, and see what all we could catch out of it. Now, if you look right here, this is the first one that we stumbled upon. It's like the one right in front of the neighborhood. It's a little one. I see one up there as well that connects to it. That one looks a lot bigger. And yeah, we're gonna be exploring them today. We got nets, we have fish traps, cast nets, buckets, and hopefully we can come out with some really cool fish. He said there's a lot of African cichlids, but there could be anything. We're going to be saving them. We're going to be taking them out of here and bringing them back to our house, our ponds, and our fish tanks. We're giving them a new loving home, all right? We're taking them back in. They're like little orphan fish, you know, just abandoned by their owners. So if you look down here, it's really cool, actually. You know, usually when people build waterfalls in these communities, they always put chlorine in it. But this one, it's a lot different. You can actually see there's live plants growing in here. Not sure if people put them in there or what's going on, but they look like the plants you see in a fish store. This is really crazy. You can actually see they got constant flow coming in. I think they pump it up from the lake as well. So this is just really cool, guys. I'm really excited to see what we could find. Oh fish just came up right there okay i'm gonna get started we're gonna get in there with a net i'm gonna start scooping around see if we can pull up anything i don't want to go crazy and start fishing all 10 of these little tide pools today because that'll be a little too much we're definitely gonna have to come back for different parts today we're gonna focus on this one and then maybe the one above as well just to get a little taste of this place see what's in here and yeah let's start netting see what all we can catch i'm gonna take a net right here in these weeds see if we can get anything here we go first scoop look at all these plants oh it's like muddy too oh it's disgusting i went out and bought plants for my little tiki hut tank i could have just came here look at all these plants that's so cool we should take these back all right no more plants bobby stop getting distracted fish we're here for fish let's bring this net up here see if we caught anything oh it's disgusting anyone home hello hello okay i don't think we caught a single fish in this <laughs> Oh, bless you. I don't think we caught a single fish in the first net. This is just mud. This is nasty stuff. All right, we're putting this back. I'm really interested to see if there's any like native stuff that, you know, found their way in here through the pond because there is a big pump out there that sucks the water in and little baby fish could get through and then grow big in these ponds and then they get trapped. And uh, yeah, if we come across those, we will save them today. All right, second scoop. Here we go. Oh, what was that? Is that a fish? Hello? Oh, this is so hard to go through. I can't see anything. It's all muddy. Oh, this is disgusting. All right, nothing in that one either. I hope I'm not being pranked right now, okay? That could be a possibility. We don't know if this subscriber is uh, reliable. Let's net right here. This looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the, what is this? Whoa, check this out. First fish of the day in here. Well, that looks like a little killifish actually. Okay, that's a native species. So that's what I'm talking about. These little waterfall tide pools could actually hold normal fish that just naturally find their way in here. We're gonna help them out though and throw them in the actual pond. See ya, buddy. Oh, what about right here in this corner? Let's see. This place is so hard to fish. There's so much more. <gasps> what is this? Oh, oh, there. He almost jumped out of the net. Look at this, guys. This one's way bigger. Oh, that's way better. Oh, that's really cool. I think that's a Daniel, actually. I've caught these before in my little Tetra spot. I think that's cool. Oh, 
I almost lost him. Okay, let's get him in the bucket. That's really cool though. That's actually an aquarium fish. Okay, the subscriber was not lying. This is legit, guys. Oh, that makes me really excited now to see what else is in here. All right, let's fill up this bucket a little bit. That's really cool, guys. Check it. Beautiful fish. All right, in the bucket he goes. First keeper of the day. We're bringing him home. We're going to set the bucket right here. I want to take a look at these other waterfalls too, just to see if we get... Whoa, look, there's a crawfish in there too. I didn't even see him. That's a big crawfish. All right, he's not like a blue one or anything crazy. Just a normal one, so we'll throw him back. We'll throw him in the main pond though. See ya. Look at this, the water like comes down from the top right here. This is so cool. Imagine having this in like your yard. We're just gonna keep scooping around. Like I said, I don't know what's in here. There could be anything. We're just investigating, right? Oh, no way, no way. That's an African cichlid already, right? Where'd it go? Okay, he disappeared. There he is. That's an African cichlid for sure. That's a Mabuna right there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this spot is turning into something insane. Oh no. Okay, I got him. That was another close call. I gotta wash it. <laughs> Check this out there, you guys. Another fish right here, another aquarium fish. And this is actually a Mabuna cichlid. Super awesome. We're gonna add him to the bucket. That is good, guys. That's a good sign. We're gonna add our second fish here to the bucket, an African cichlid, really cool. He's not too colorful, but we'll take it. All right, that's still really cool to find. Now, guys, I wanna check out these other waterfalls. I'm just too tempted right now to see what they look like. And who knows, we might spot something insane. So let's walk around. We're gonna check out this one behind me. It looks a lot bigger than this one, but we might come back to this one later on because we do know there's fish in here. Okay, guys, we made it to the second waterfall tide pool. This one is definitely a lot bigger and it's actually crystal clear so I can see in the water. I'm just seeing if I can see any fish right now with my eyes and then I'm gonna try and scoop them up. And then if you look over there, it leads to another big tide pool. All right, you know what? I think I might step in here and start netting around. There's a big clump of weeds right here. I think we're gonna take a scoop in there because that's where these fish are gonna be. Whoa, what the heck is that? There's a big fish in there. In that corner, I see a giant fish moving around. Okay, I have to find out what it is now. It could be anything. It was back here. Guys, we're searching for this big fish I just saw. I know it was a big fish. Oh, no way. Look at this. Look, there's a giant cichlid in there. Oh, that's a big one. That is so sick. I wasn't even trying to catch him. I was just taking random scoops trying to find that big fish I saw. Is that a goldfish? Look, there's a goldfish down there. Oh my gosh. I just saw a freaking orange fish down there. We're gonna try and catch him next. All right, check that out, guys. Third keeper of the day. Another not too pretty African cichlid. It's still really cool. That's a giant cichlid. Oh, right here, right here. I see it. Look, it's a goldfish. He's right there. No, get in the net. I think I got him. <laughs> I think it's a goldfish. What is going on? Did I get him? Please tell me I got him. We definitely got him on camera. Oh, there he is. He's down there. Look, yes. He's so fat too. He's eating good in here. All right. All right. We're going to add him to the bucket. There he goes. He blends in so well. All right. This is crazy guys. Now we are actually going to explore the rest of it. We're going to see what it looks like. This place is freaking loaded with aquarium fish. Whoa. Look at this waterfall. It looks like we're in the jungle right now. Whoa. This spot is crazy looking. Oh, that's so crazy. Imagine what's in here. We got to explore this. Look at this. Oh, there's a bird. Look at this one, you guys. There's little fish swimming around all over, the, but the water's so dark, I can't see what they are. But this is really exciting. I can't wait to come back here and uh, explore it more. I mean, look down there. It, it ends up over there too. There's another pool. And then you come down here. That's where we just were. We walked up from there. And you come down, there's another pool here. These are a lot bigger than the other ones. So I don't even want to attempt fishing this today. I just want to keep fishing the ones that we're already fishing because we know there's fish in here. Look at this. This one's like dried up almost. And then it leads down there and then into the pond. We're going to have to come back and do a part two. If you guys want to see that, go down there and leave a like. I think I'm going to throw the cast net in this one and just see if we can catch anything. This might be our best bet. I think I just saw an arowana. What? Where? I'm not even kidding. Like right over there. Are you serious? Where? Yeah. In the yeah. You did not. I'm not even kidding. Hey, we're after the elusive arowana. I swear I saw it. Come on. Oh, no way. No. No, 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 no. There's no way. Oh, it's a bass. Look, it's a baby bass. Oh, that's really cool. So it's not an arowana? You think that's what you saw? Maybe, honestly. <laughs> Look at that. It's a little baby largemouth bass. This is exactly what I was saying. Little fit. Oh, no. Okay. Well, he just jumped back into his little waterfall. <gasps> no! No way! Helen, I'm going to empty this out. I think I just saw something else. There's no way that that... Right here. Right here. No way! No way! Helen. What is it? It's a shark. Okay, now I actually believe there's arowanas in here. Look at that. It's an iridescent shark. Oh my God, that is actually insane, you guys. I actually can't believe we just caught that. All right, we're gonna get him in the bucket. Oh, 
That's like the craziest thing we caught so far. All right, check it out, guys. We actually just caught a little baby iridescent shark that someone actually released in here. So that's a whole bucket right now full of keepers, and we barely scratched the surface. We just started netting around. All right, guys, we got the fish dialed in here. We've caught fish out of each of these little tide pools here. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up a fish trap right now in this one. This is the biggest one. It's going to be the hardest to fish. So placing a fish trap in there is definitely the best bet. Now, I have a really good feeling about this one over here because we did just catch an iridescent shark, and Helen said she saw an arowana that is insane bread going in the fish trap we're baiting it up boom and uh we're gonna chuck it in right there in the middle here we go right there perfect we'll come back to that later today once we're done we'll check the trap see what all we got in that and there's also a giant fish in here we don't even know what it is so let's see if we can get them maybe back in this corner oh whoa what the heck whoa! oh jesus christ i got one over the big oh it's a snake head oh oh he's big Stop it, stop it, stop it. Look at this thing. How did he end up in here? That is crazy. It's a snakehead, you guys. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, oh my God. God. Look, 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 look. Oh, get back here. No. So that's how he got in there. He can fly too. Okay. He's in that one now. What is going on? There's snakeheads in here. That doesn't surprise me, you guys. Snakeheads, you saw his, his agility right there. They can literally travel upstream. They can walk on land. I was hoping it was a big exotic fish, just a snakehead. That's still pretty cool. There could be more in here too. Oh, oh there's a lot of, lot of weeds right there. Whoa. Oh, it's gonna break my net. Got a lot of weeds in that one. Ugh. Whoa. I just felt something kick. There's something in my net. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. That is so heavy. So, oh. What the heck is that? So much for this one not having any mud. This is disgusting. It smells great too, doesn't it? No. <laughs> oh, no way. Look, look right here. Look right here. Yes, another cichlid. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Oh, that's actually a really pretty one. No way. I think that's a pe Whoa, look at his fin. Okay, that's really insane. That's a peacock African cichlid, not a mabuna, but that one's insanely pretty. The other two we caught, I'm not gonna lie, they were a little ugly, but this guy is freaking gorgeous. So that just shows they're living in these weeds here. They're all jumbled up in there. Do we get anything else? Hello. This is so crazy. They gotta be breeding in here too. I mean, this is a perfect pond for them. Check that out. Look at the blue on his face. I'm not sure the exact species of cichlid, but that's really cool. We're definitely putting him in my cichlid pond. This is like one of my favorite spots already. It's turning out to be a really good spot, guys. We're catching a lot of fish, a big variety of fish too, which is always fun. Oh, another big fish just hit my foot. Okay, that's scary. There's another big fish in here. Where are you? But right back there, you're probably wondering where the water's coming from. It gets pumped in from the pond and then it shoots out under that big fern there. So that's probably where all the fish are hiding. So I'm gonna net back in there and see what I can get. Ugh. Oh, that's the hot spot right there. We just got all the way back up in there. What did we get? Oh! Oh, an orange fish. Oh, it's a sword tail, I think. Or a platy. Oh, he's giant too. That's like a giant one. Whoa. Look at that. Another species here. I think that's a sword tail. These guys breed rapidly too. So there's got to be babies in here. I think I need a net with smaller holes to get them though. So right now we're just catching the big boys, but I'm not complaining. That's awesome. All right, we're going to add them to the bucket. There he goes. Sweet. Ugh. Come on. I think they're over here where these weeds are. That's where they are. Ugh. Come on. Oh yeah. Nothing in there. Oh. Oh, whoa. I just felt another big kick in the net. Come on. All right, watch out. This could be another snakehead. Oh, no, I see blue. I see blue. It's an African for sure. This one's gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, that's my favorite one so far. What? I've never seen one like that. Holy moly. Okay, that's crazy. There's some really beautiful ones in here. We, we caught ugly ones at the start. I was getting worried, but these are just insane looking. What the heck? They gotta be breeding in here too. That's really cool. Any more? Oh, another one. It's giant. Holy crap. Look at the size of that Mabuna right there. That could be a breeding pair right there. That's crazy. All right, there they go. See ya. How many fish do we have? That's like literally almost 10 keepers right now already. It's been like 45 minutes, dude. Oh, oh my God, Bobby. <laughs> another one. Maybe. Really? It was right under the leaves. Okay. This one was bigger. Really? It's like Bigfoot. <laughs> you got two arowana sightings in the waterfalls. I'm gonna see if I can see it. Oh my God, give me my net, give me my net. Okay, it's not an arowana. No way. There's no way right now. You see it? No. I got him. Oh my God! I 
Are you kidding me right now? That is insane. Look at that Plinko. Check that out, you guys. I saw him under the waterfall. He's just sticking to the rock. I think that's like a bristle nose right there. Oh, that's so crazy looking. That's a big one too. We have a lot of these at home. We'll add them to the front koi pond. Maybe we'll get them to breed. My hopes of an arowana actually being in here are like going higher and higher by the minute. All right, there you go. I'm not seeing an arowana. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like we would have seen it by now too because they're always at the top. Whoa, oh, it's a bluegill. Oh my gosh. I I thought it was it. Another fish that probably wound up in here when he was a little baby and then he just got bigger over time. We'll help him out. That's a native species. So we're gonna throw him in the actual pond, give him a bigger home. There you go, buddy. Oh, what is that? What the heck? Ew, that's a fish. I saw it moving. It doesn't look like one, it's covered in mud. Here, let's wash it off. Hello, what are you? Whoa, it's a quarry catfish. No way, another aquarium fish. What is going on right now? The assortment of fish in here is actually insane. Okay, we're gonna get him in the bucket. We'll probably actually put this with my mom's tiki hut fish. All right, buddy, there you go. Still no sign of that arowana. I swear he's in here. Oh my God. What? Oh my God, baby. Where? The Where? arowana. No, wait, no. <laughs> Where? Look, look at him, he's right there. Where? He's right in the corner. I don't see it. Are you sure? Yeah. Hello. Okay, guys, confirmed arowana. I just watched the footage back. Helen actually saw an arowana. She hasn't been making this up. So right now I'm just getting a bird's eye view. I'm watching the pond right now, trying to see if I could see it because I don't see it right now, but uh, we're gonna try to find it and then I'm gonna try and scoop it. And we're taking this thing straight home. It's gonna be insane. Okay guys, we've been waiting around for literally like 15 minutes. I'm not sure where he is right now. I'm getting impatient. I'm gonna go back to netting in here in the meantime because you know, I still wanna catch a lot of fish. Yeah, another fish, another giant cichlid. Look at that one, another really pretty one, like electric blue. Oh, that looks just like the other one, except this one's actually a Mabuna. So that's really weird. They might be crossbreeding in here because it looks just like the peacock. All right, boom. Whew, this is crazy, let's keep going. I still see the fish trap, that's good. I'm really excited to check that. I kind of want a net in there. I know we have the fish trap, but I just can't help myself. Under this right here, the waterfall looks like a good spot. That's probably where the fish are gonna be. So we'll take one little net there, all right? I'm actually gonna net up under it. Mike has something. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh, geez. no way. No way. It's an albino clown I fish. I've never seen one before. Now we catch the regular ones all the time because they're actually all over Florida. This is an albino. Look how beautiful that fish is. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know what's going on right now, but all I know is I'm really excited for that fish trap now. I think that's literally like one of my favorite catches of all time right there, albino clown eye fish. And he's pretty big too, that's so cool. In the bucket you go. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Thank you to the subscriber for sending us this spot. This is crazy right now. Okay, now I'm definitely disturbing the fish trap. It's right there, but I actually cannot help myself now. After catching a shark in here and an albino clown eye fish, I gotta keep netting and see what else I can get. Let's throw the cast net some more. Not bad. I don't think we got anything in this one. Let's check. Nothing in that one. Ah, oh my God. That was pretty good. Oh, oh, I feel something. What is this? No way. Come on, come here. Look at this. Where'd it go? I caught something. Oh, oh, he's in the net. It's a shark. Another shark. You've got to be kidding me. This one's bigger. Oh my gosh. This spot is crazy, you guys. I love it so much. We're pulling out so many crazy fish. That's another iridescent shark. These things get massive. Okay, I'm really tempted to pick up the fish right now, but I'm gonna withhold myself. We're gonna wait like 30 or 45 minutes, and then we're gonna get it just to maximize the fish that we can get. But look at that, another one. We're gonna get them to the bucket right now. All right, here we go. Second iridescent shark going in. Another to the collection. Now I really wanna find that arowana. That would be the craziest thing yet today. We're gonna try to find this thing. He's in here somewhere. Where? Where could this thing be hiding? I don't understand. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, he just heard me. He got spooked. He's in that corner, Helen. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see him, I see him. Wait. Where is he? He's right there. Oh, I see him. He's right down there. I see, I see, I see. All right, buddy. Come on. We know your last owners weren't so good to you. We'll be better. We got him. He's in the net. Yes! Helen, we got an arowana. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's freaking adorable. What? Look how cool that is. It's an arowana. Helen, you were right. You knew it. Look how cool that is. He's just a little baby. Now, the people who released those sharks in there might have released this guy because they are about the same size. And we know there's multiple in there because we saw one in there and then Helen saw another one over there in the other fountain. We're catching insane fish out of here and we got a fish trap marinade right now. We're going to take a little break, as you can see by my face. It's really hot outside, but it's all worth it catching these crazy fish. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of break and then we're going to come back in like 30 minutes 
check the trap and hopefully we catch a lot of fish in that. So we'll see you guys in 30 minutes when we take this fish trap. Here we go. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes since we last saw you guys. It is now time to check our fish trap here in the waterfalls that are filled with these aquarium fish. So we got a new bucket here, completely empty. Let's fill it up with water. We'll put it right here. So I still see bread. That's not an amazing sign, but you never know. Let's go for it. Right there. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. I got the trap. Oh, I see a fish. Look, look right there. Oh, no, it's a shark. What? Oh, there's so many fish in here. Look at all of them. There's tons of them. Okay. <gasps> there is another albino clown knife fish. What is going on? Look at this one. Look at that cichlid. That's gorgeous. Look at this guy. I think it's a silver dollar, a little red hook or something like that. That's cool. Oh, it's a Playco. Is this a fancy Playco? No, he's, he's a lame one. All right, we're going to toss him back. <laughs> what else? We go. Those are angelfish. There's two angelfish in there, I think. There's one right here. Holy crap, that's insane. I think that's a koi angelfish. Such pretty colors, no way. Look at this one. This one's like a blue. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that one. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. It's like the same size as the other one. So whoever released them, definitely released two in here. They're the exact same size and they were probably together. Oh, that's so cool. We'll have a little family reunion with them. Oh, there's a bass in here too. Look at that. He's probably going after the fish that were already in there. What else? I know I saw a shark. Yeah, oh, there's two more sharks. Look at this. We got two more sharks. Oh, in a... Is that a molly or a platy? Two more sharks though, what the heck is going on? Oh, that one's pretty. Nice little orange one, beautiful. And I think that's it. Oh no, there's one more. That's a giant sword tail. That's beautiful. I don't see them that big too often. That's a jumbo sword tail. Now I think that is it for the fish trap. Oh, I love this spot. It's literally one of my favorite spots already after one visit. This is crazy though. We got a lot of fish in these buckets. We're gonna head home now and get them into the ponds and tanks. We got a lot of fish here, so we gotta get going. We will see you back at my house and we're gonna get these fish into their new homes. Here we go. All right, guys, we've made it back to my house and we have a cooler filled with aquarium fish we found from the waterfall. Look at that haul right there. So many fish. We're going to add the baby arowana because he's not big enough to go with the predators yet. We're going to add the iridescent shark. Same story with them. And then we're also going to add the albino placo there, the bristle nose, because we already have some in here. So let's get them in the pond. Gotcha. Look at that. Oh, that fish is so cool. All right, buddy. Oh, there's Bruce. <laughs> there's Bruce waiting for a snack. Quick. <laughs> all right, now let's get all these iridescent sharks in. How many did we get? I think we got two in the fish trap, so we got four in total. Check that out. Look at that. We got four more sharks added to the army. Oh my God. We gotta stop catching those things. Soon we're gonna have like 20, 100 pound iridescent sharks. And now we're actually gonna get the baby weenie. Look at this little guy. He's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Little weenie junior. That's his name, weenie junior. We're gonna add him to the pond now. Bruce, please play nice. Go, go, go. Look how cool he is. God, I love arowanas. <laughs> It looks like he loves it. Oh, oh. All right, guys, now we do have some additions to the black mystery tub right now. We did catch a lot of African cichlids. However, I don't want to add them to my cichlid pond right now just because I have so many in there. So we're going to add all the African cichlids we caught into the black mystery tub. I mean, look how pretty some of them are. Beautiful colors. There goes three. This one's my favorite right here. Look at the blue face. Oh, he's gorgeous. There they go. And last ones, we're gonna add this one. This one's like one of my favorites, so pretty. And then we're also gonna add in this little like silver dollar, I think it is. There they go, sweet. All right guys, and now we're actually here at the Mata Mata Turtle Pond. Now we're actually gonna be adding some fish in here. You're probably like, what fish are you putting in here? We have a lot of mollies in here and they're breeding like crazy. And I wanna see if I throw in a couple colorful ones into the mix to see if they'll actually create colorful babies. That's a nice one right there. There he goes. And then we got two more right here. Check those guys out. There they go. Nice little orange fish. Little goldfish can go in there too. Check that out. There goes the goldfish. I don't have anywhere else to put the little goldfish. I'm gonna be honest. Check it out. We're here at the Tiki Hut tank. Now it is nighttime, but all the fish are out. We just turned on the lights. It's a little bit cloudy, a little bit dirty. And that is because I had to add both of my designer Placos in here and they just been stirring everything up, making a mess. There's the scarlet cactus right there. And then the sunshine Placo I think is in the back over there. But basically they were terrorizing my Tigrinus catfish. They were sucking on them. Can't have them messing with my Tigrinus. So for now they are in here. And we're actually gonna be getting those baby clown knife fish in here and those two baby angel fish. All right, here we go. The two clown knife fish. Oh my gosh, they're a really good size too. They're so cool. Three, two, one. Wow. Oh, they're gonna look so good in there. Hanging around the plants, the driftwood. And we also got these guys. There they go. So majestic. And lastly, we got this guy, the little Cory catfish. Here he goes. 
Whoosh, off to join his friends. Well guys, that was a lot of fun. I love new spots, especially like that, where you can catch crazy exotic aquarium fish. That was awesome. We're definitely gonna go back for a part two. If you guys wanna see that, please go down there, leave a like, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.